Hi guys, Finney Charles here, and today I want to talk to you about having a dirty, icky, stinky mind. All right, so how does one have a dirty, icky, stinky mind? I also want to let you know that having a dirty, icky, stinky mind is quite easy depending on what you feed your mind. All right, uh, I knew of someone who had this incident happen to her. She was a person that loved to watch Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer was one of her favorite shows. She would call and ask me, have you seen Jerry Springer? Have you seen this episode? Did you know that they were cussing and carrying on and throwing chairs and then the bodyguards had to come on stage? And she was just so amused and so entertained by Jerry Springer and the participants of Jerry Springer. I'd respond to her and tell her, no, I did not watch Jerry Springer. I have no interest in Jerry Springer because uh, I find it kind of sad. You know, uh, these people are looking for mediators, you know, to help them with solve their e emotional and relationship problems. And they are doing it in front of a camera and it is buffoonery at its best. So no, I don't find it entertaining. So I didn't watch it and don't ask me again because the answer is going to be no, I didn't see this episode. I didn't see that episode or the episode before then. Anyway, I also told her, I said, you know, when you watch this stuff, all you're doing is just, you know, you're feeding your mind junk and trash. And then next thing you know, it's going to be played out in your life. She was like, yada, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, so now one day. She was running around tending to her errands and so forth, and she stumbled across a person. Now, this person, she found out, was interfering with her romantic relationship. Um, you guys can kind of figure out what I'm saying here. This person was interfering with her romantic relationship. And while she was running her errands, she had a friend, she had a friend with her. And this friend also loved Jerry Springer, liked a lot of drama, liked a lot of excitement, was with her. And both of them got together and decided to confront this person on her doorstep. Okay, so the both of them went over to this person because somehow they inadvertently found out where this person lived and they ended up on the person's doorstep and guess what happened there was cussing swearing or well, cussing and swearing is the same thing uh kicking kicking and shoving people through the door bum rushing pulling of hair to the point that the cops were called after the cops after restraining orders and then later on after court dates she said to me, you know what, I can't believe my life turned out this way. I can't believe my life took a turn and ended up, you know, ended up down this path. Now, I didn't say anything to her. I just thought to myself, do you know what this sounds like? You guessed it, guys. Jerry Springer. Hmm. That's something to really think about. Sometimes we watch these shows and we think, oh, it's just harmless. It doesn't mean anything. But when you're feasting your mind on uh, shows like Jerry Springer or things that don't uplift and empower you or help you become a better person, it gets infused in your mindset. And then your mindset is the filter of which, you know, of how you perceive the world and how you make your choices. You know, she said to me, you know what, I should have called you before I had, you know, went down there. And I told her, no, you would not have called me because you knew where, you knew where I stood. I would have told you, why are you going over there? That is something that you should discuss with the person that you're romantically involved with. They're the ones that's, you know, letting the interference play out. That's who you should deal with. You're not supposed to, you know, confront that other person because that other person knows that they're interfering in their relationship. And who you're in the relationship with has made a commitment to you. So that's between you 
that person, the person that you're having the relationship with, and the commitment. If they are breaking the commitment, it is not the other person's fault, but it's easy to scapegoat people. So she knew if she called me, like I told her, I would have not endorsed going over there. But since you were with someone else who endorsed the drama and liked the excitement, just like how you liked the excitement, it w- it sounds feasible to go over to that person's house. Do you see, guys, how the things we feed our mind, you know, when it's absorbed and it's meshed, it becomes our mindset or it it's the foundation to our mindset. Do you see how having that mindset is the foundation for the for the choices that you make you can easily have an icky stinky dirty mind if you're feeding your mind with icky stinky dirty things that's why you have to listen to audios read books people diligently you have to keep feeding yourself all these positive things that empower you the audios the books the shows that you watch even the people that you hang out with because In so many ways in life, there are things that are more negative than positive. You watch the news and then people have this heightened sense of fear. And then everyone is just naturally sort of programmed from birth to think the worst or that bad and ill and doom is always looming over us. So we have to constantly and consistently feed our minds with audios and books and shows and people that empower us. Now, I don't have any, this person has moved on out of, uh, you know, out of my life and it was coming and it's not to look back and say, oh, this person is crazy or, oh, this person is bad because that was the circle of friends that I had in the past because of my mindset back then, for whatever reason, I attracted those people into my life. And, you know, some of us will argue and say, okay, well, how you attract these people into your life, it doesn't make a difference. Yes, when you attract people like that into your life, if you choose to hang out and stay around them, that means you endorse the thinking for whatever reason. I look back at the situation, I take the value, I extract the value out of the situation, and I see how I can apply it to my life for empowering me or disempowering me. So, guys, remember, garbage in, garbage out empowering things in empowering things out things that build you up in you'll see it reflected in your life okay guys we have work to do we have a lot of work to do we have dreams we have to snatch back we have our freedom our happiness anything you can think of that you feel that you would want to experience that we have to snatch back And we need food and sustenance for this journey. So be mindful of what you put in because it matters. It will be reflected in your life. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.